Steve Kerr right back at you and right here I have a wonderful young lady that I wish to take the opportunity to introduce you my Facebook friends in all of Canada hello I'm Steve Kerr and your name is Andrea Harder Steve nice to meet you Andrea Hardway yeah. and can you tell me how are you connected with the Calabar High I'm connected in, in on two fronts my my children go to Calabar High School my, my first son okay. my oldest son competed at champs um, for about four years, dominating the high jumps. Okay. Um, got injured and was able to compete at class one, but, um, but he's pretty good. He's doing pretty well now. My second connection is that I chair the management committee that um, kind of ad administer track and field at Calabar. Okay. So I'm very, very involved with the team. As, okay. As and a, as a, as and a, from the sounds of it, after your sons have moved on, you'll probably stay connected with the team? I will because I have a grandson who is coming up as well and he's, he doesn't want to go to any other school but Calabar. Okay, so it seems like you're going to be getting a family tradition. Yes, um, I think so. Was there others before your sons at Calabar? No, no. Okay, so your, your sons are leading the way. I suppose, yeah. Wonderful. Just out of curiosity, in your time did you run track? No, I didn't, but, um, but I played netball competitively um, all through high school and okay. all the way up to club. Didn't make the Jamaica national team, unfortunately. Okay. But you tried? But I tried out. Yeah, okay, that's wonderful. Successful. My husband, though, he played football for Jamaica, okay. and um, was very involved in football. Okay, is that the reggae boys or the, the reggae before they became the reggae boys? Oh, okay, all right. I'm before not they, that young. They, they changed the name. Okay, and is your husband also involved in the track and field community? No, now? no, he's not. He's not. Okay, so you mentioned that your son is uh, presently injured. Um, is how serious is that injury right now? Well, I think he um, um he had a what you call acute tendonitis okay which um which affected him significantly mm -hmm. um as i said he was able to complete at class one he has not shown much interest in that okay. in high jump um he's been touting about coming back and so on he's currently at utec so i'm hoping that he will get back into it and, mm -hmm. and maybe compete at the collegiate level okay so am i to understand that he got a scholarship um no he didn't no. really he was okay. able to get one because he, he didn't have any marks uh, by the time he got he got through with that with high school i see mm -hmm. and so your other son what uh, what are, what is his craft Oh, he does. He plays football. He's not into track and field, so he. Oh, plays, but he's at he he's plays, at the school, but he's at the school, but not into track and field. Okay. He plays um, Pepsi. Plays football. Okay. Um, for Calabar, mm -hmm. his coaches have been encouraging him to come out and do the throws, but he's not showing any interest. He's, he has the body type for right. it, but he has not shown much interest in the throws at all. Okay. So from, from the sound and everything I see here, the whole team is on the front and in line and focused to win champs. If you can share with me a few viewpoints, what do you think you're going to have to do to lock up uh, the gold medal position? Don't make any mistakes. Okay. No mistakes at all. We, we, we don't have room for mistakes, Right. And um, which means the boys have to make totally focused right we have to get on the score sheets from the very first event okay which is the um, class one long jump I think on the very first day right um, so we have to get we have to get those points everywhere where we're predicted to get points we have to get those points mm -hmm. and then we have to score where they don't expect us to score okay. so um, so we have to keep the boys focused we have to keep them healthy yes. and that is that is a top priority for us to okay. keep them healthy keep them properly rehydrated we don't want any injuries okay and um, that's what we'll have to do okay and, and one final question you see yourself holding the gold medal position so if you could share with me your opinion who do you think will be beside you with the silver and gold doesn't matter the order Oh wow, um, Casey is going to be there. I mean, they are fierce competitors. Okay. Um, and they know how to win. You know, that school, you, you, have, to, you have to recognize their, okay. their um, commitment. Right. And, um, and Jamaica College, the and top Jamaica three. Right. Last year is going to be the top three again this year, except that Calabar is going to be the champion. Okay. And what is the size of the team? 
Uh, we have now about 85 persons. Right. Um, by the time we go into championship, it will be about 70. Yeah, about 70. So you, you mean to say it'll dwindle down because those will not qualify for it? Yeah. They, they, what we do is have a runoff or jump off. Ah, I see. As the case may be, to select the top two. You have two athletes in every event. In every event. So, um, so we'll select the top two, maybe in another maybe two weeks time from okay, now, right. and so it will go down to that. Okay, mm -hmm. well I want to thank you very much for your candidacy, candidacy and thank you very much for being so open with me with the questions. Thank you. God bless you. Nice meeting you, Steve. Well, there you have it. Uh, you heard it once again live from Steve Kerr, your roving reporter. Um, tune in. There is much, much more to come. Be blessed.